Hello and welcome to Tech Talks. My name is Lisa and I'm the Digital Services Librarian at St. Albert Public Library and today I would like to show you Solero. Solero is a resource for grades 3 to 12. It has tons of content in there and it's all Alberta curriculum based. So great for our students especially right now. So let's take a look at how we get there. So we go to our website sapl.ca and you're going to click on eLibrary and that'll bring this page up here and Solero is a little bit farther down the page right here we're going to tap on more just so we can see a bit more information so this is a description of what it is how you access it and Solero's privacy policy and terms of use so we're going to just tap on Solero and I actually already have it open so oh actually we'll just keep it open then good so when you open this at home you are going to be prompted to put your library card and pin number in first your library card starts with five twos and don't do any of the spaces and then once you put that in there you'll be brought to this page if it's the first time you've ever signed in into Solero. So you have to accept their terms of service. Definitely I recommend read their privacy policy terms of service and rules. I know they're long but it's a good practice to get in the habit of doing that. So once we've done that you're going to click on I have read it and now you're in Solero. So this is the first page you will see in Solero. So the first thing to do is to tap add a course. Depending on what age your child is, we're gonna tap Alberta, and then we're going to choose a grade. So it just depends on what grade your child is in. I'm gonna tap grade six, and that lets Solero know that I'm in grade six. And now it shows all the courses that are relevant to my grade. So let's take a look at what one of these courses look like. Let's look at, how about we look at Science 6. Now you can see the AB after them. That means it's Alberta curriculum. So we're going to save that. And there we go. So it's now added the course to our main page that we land on. So let's take a look at this course. And there are all the courses in Solero are structured the same way. So you've got all the different topics. You have the pre and post test, the practice test, the assessment results. There are study tools that you can use like flashcards and notes. Very, very handy. Let's see how this works. So we're going to tap on, let's look at flight. So this is one of the topics in the grade six science. So these are the different unit units for lack of a better word or sections. So let's look at the first one here on parachutes. So this is where your student would read through the content. And study it so you can scroll through there and in some cases there'll be multiple pages In this one there's just the one so if we go back and if I go back into parachutes now you're gonna see something's changed so see where it says lesson completed and content viewed right underneath the blue lesson before we scroll through the material it was gray a little gray dot beside each of them now that we have actually completed the lesson it's showing up as green showing that it's completed so we're just going to tap that little arrow to go back to the main part there we go so if your students done one of the sections let's pretend that we just did we can do a practice quiz for it so we're going to tap on practice quiz they give you the rules for the practice quiz and we're going to start the quiz there we are so this is what one of your typical quizzes looks like and again, generally they're multiple choice. It's pretty easy to use. And we're just going to tap randomly. Science is not my strong point. We're just going to tap on next question. And then you can go through. So you can see that there are six questions. Right up here it shows you there are six questions in this test. We are just going to randomly, just so you don't have to wait for me to figure out the answers, we're just going to go through and just randomly pick some, just so you can finish the test so you can see what it looks like at the end. I'm not even reading the questions we just want to get it done there we go so we're gonna yes we want to say we completed the quiz and then it will give you a score so I scored zero percent because I guessed for everything but your child you will be able to see what they scored and which ones they got wrong which is great because then you can go in and you can review the answer so you can go back and go oh okay I chose D but it was a and then they can figure out what it was that they what they didn't understand so that's how those assessments go after they've looked through the different, read through all those different topics. So that's where we were there. So that shows now we can see that I had zero out of 6% for the test for that quiz, for that unit. 
And it's the same thing for all the rest of them coming down here that we see. And so we're going to go back here. And now you can see there are assessment results. So if we tap on that, you can see that I took the practice quiz today and I got zero out of six. You might find that ha helpful to be able to see them all in one spot. And any tests that students do in any of the courses, it will show up there for each, within each of the courses. So we're in science six right now. So if you were doing math six, it would show up in the math six. They're not all put together, um, interming intermingled with the different courses. They're specific to each course. So there are also practice tests that so we can do flight. So before you actually take the test, you can do the practice test. And there it is right there. So you can see the format is very much like the other one. It is, uh, it is multiple choice. You can see that there are 14 questions. You can do just guessing if they're not sure, or they can do next question. And then when they were done, they can click I'm done, or they can finish the practice test later, which is great. Because if you're, something's going on and you need to stop, you can save it and it will save your progress. So let's just pop back to the main page again. So those are pre and post tests and practice tests and the assessment results. So that's what your average course looks like in Solero. So we're gonna go back there. And now let's say you wanna search for a lesson and we're gonna search for flight. There we are. So it's bringing up all the different lessons that have to do with flight. Let's say you can't remember where it was and you're, you're trying to find it. Let's tap on that and that should bring it up here. So you can still see it's under science six. So it's searching within that actual course. So that's a handy feature if you can't remember where it was in the section. So something else I'd like to show you how to do is how to add a course. So let's do that again. We're gonna top on, tap on that blue button that says add a course. Let's choose something different this time. Let's choose, how about we do social? We're gonna save that. And I believe you can save up to 10 courses at once. So let's just tap right there. Same idea, you can see all the same sorts of things that you would see with the course that we just looked at. Now up here on the right, you're gonna see the little round, it looks like a little round person with the three little lines. You're gonna tap on that. Again, I'm recording on an iPad, so this is gonna look different if you're on a phone or on a computer. So you can see here right now that I did a lesson and I did a practice quiz and it shows you how many I've done. So you can see two. So that's kind of a nice calendar view of it. Standards report. So those are the different tests. Now we haven't done any of those ones yet. If we had actually, we did one. I just can't remember which lesson it was in, but it would show up there. Activity reports will show what you've been doing. So you can see we, uh, we've learned Earn two stars. Now that's just a motivator for your child. So up on the right, you can see where it says rewards and there's stars. We've earned two stars because we completed two lessons. And then here's all the rewards. So they can basically, they can make their own avatar, but they have to have earn enough stars to get the different things to add to their avatar. So it's just a little bit of a motivating thing that they can do there. And that's the gist of what everything is in Solero. Now to do, it, if you tap on to do, it will show you what you still have to do. If we had actually completed that full flight unit, we would see it over there on the completed, but we haven't completed it yet, so it's not showing us. But this is a great resource for students in grades three to 12. Again, it's all Alberta curriculum, especially useful right now when all the children are at home. So I would highly recommend that you check this out. It's great content to help your child practice, especially for when you're getting into those upper grades. And it is all free with your library card and it is found again on our website, sapple.ca under eLibrary and it is called Solero. And we hope that you enjoy it. Thanks.